is our first time doing a Mountaineer on video. It's a perfect size, we think. This is an absolutely <laughs> beautiful coach. One of the nicest new Mars we've seen. I like this better than some of the higher end ones. Oh God, that's really annoying. Look at the size of these bays, guys. By the way, I think it's hailing right now. Look at what we do for you guys. <laughs> hey everyone, Izzy from Endless RVing. We're out at NIRVC in Manassas, Virginia. First time here. Behind us, we have a brand new unit. It's been on the lot for one day. This is the 2023 Newmar Mountaineer. It's model 4118. This is an absolutely gorgeous coach. We're gonna take you on a full exterior tour, a full interior tour, plus we're gonna take this out on the road to let you see how it is going down the road. So disclaimer, it is raining out right now and it's kind of cold. So we're gonna go through this really quick on the outside. We're gonna put the specs for this specific unit down below in the description. So all new Mars guys, 16 inch on center, hung walls, aluminum framing. This is no different guys. This is a 23 Mountaineer. So the Mountaineer sits in the lineup. It is above the Dutch Star. It is below the London Air. It has a lot of the features of both of those, but it comes in aggressively, more aggressively priced. So it's absolutely beautiful it's, inside. This is a gorgeous coach. It's our first time doing a Mountaineer on video. It's absolutely beautiful. And it's a perfect size, we think. Yeah. So when you go into the higher up, the Mountaineer, that's like the uber luxury, luxury line, you see everything is covered. The wipers are hidden behind. You don't see that in the Dutch Star. You have the collision mitigation, 300 160 degree cameras. You have the comfort steer, which will show you how that works when we go out on the road, but that's gonna make driving this unit a lot easier, especially in crosswinds and uh, more challenging areas to drive. Now, you, you see the grill they have here. It's kind of, it's all sealed up. There's no really need for cooling here because the only thing behind this is going to be your generator, and it's gonna be a diesel generator. This is a diesel coach, by the way. Projector headlights, LED on the fog lights, and you also have more fog lights. These are really marker lights, fog lights over here. Bus style mirrors chromed out. You have the camera built into the mirrors, which is a really nice thing. So let's go down the passenger side. Again, a step up from the other units. You have that step that comes out. It's polished out. You can see everything is still covered up because this is literally brand new. I'm just going to open it up. You can see how it comes out. And then once you go inside, close the door, it's going to retract and this will be all polished out when that protective cover is off. Now, you should mention the height of the step. Yeah, you can see the height is it's a up. little bit higher. I'm it doesn't have the three steps. It's a little bit steps. higher. I don't know. Yeah, this is definitely aired up. It's not all the way down, but it definitely is a little bit higher. Now, keyless entry, of course, this will light up when you have exterior lights on. You have the big tires up front, your 365s up front on the uh, 22 and a half inch rim. Three slide coach, huge slide on the driver's side, and then two smaller slides on the passenger side. 150 gallons of diesel fuel on this, 15 gallons of def. We'll give you more specs as we go along in this video. Now, full body paint done in house, BASF masterpiece finish. We talked about this on other videos. You have Gerard awnings on both sides of this unit. You have the awnings right over the doorstep. So if it is raining on a day like this, you can kind of put that out. You also have slide toppers, all standard for something of this price, something of this caliber. This is a high end luxury motorhome. You have frameless windows. You have your outdoor television. This is a Samsung television. This looks about what, 50 inches large, or so. Yeah. Very large with a sound bar. And you also have the control for the Bose sound bar, two outlets with two USBs on there. I would love to see more of these motorhomes have the TV at eye level if you're sitting. Yeah, I, I know in the King Air that's available. Yeah, so yeah. maybe if that's an option on here, I don't know. One other thing I want to point out in that 150 gallon diesel fuel tank, it's a dual fill, which is really nice. And then you have the docking lights right here, which is perfect when you're going to fill up. Now, one thing I like about this, I like and I don't like, these are the keys and you have electronic locks so you can close the bays. I like that. I don't like it because I kind of don't like electric stuff that much, but I think there is a manual override. Enough of that. Let's go into bay number one. Huge, huge bay here with a large Dometic refrigerator freezer and they give you enough clearance here that you can open everything up. They also do utilize the extra space on top. So you have a shelf that's built in. You also have power. I don't know if you can see it over there on camera, but this is absolutely gorgeous. Very well finished out. Aluminum doors, of course, very sturdy. Now, four season coach, heated inside, hydronic heating, the basement. You're gonna be able to go out in all kind of weather. I wouldn't recommend driving in the ice and snow, but you can do that. Now, bay number two, look at the size of these bays, guys. And this is powered. 
This is absolutely enormous. It's huge. And this should take my weight because I don't weigh 150 pounds. I don't weigh 500 pounds, but <laughs> like, look at the size of this. I just kind of want you to get the feel for it. This goes all the way across. That's, uh, by the way, I think it's hailing right now. Look at what we do for you guys. <laughs> We're out here in the hail. I think it's hailing. You do have some extra floor tiles and we'll show you those floors inside. Oh, we could fit so much hashtag oh. stuff in there. Well, I told MJ when we get our diesel, one of the bays will be dedicated to a full mechanic set of <laughs> tools. Now, if you can come inside, you might be asking yourself, what is all, what are all these bars in here? If this is your first time following us, that is part of Numar's Star, Star Foundation. What is that for, MJ? Strong, true, and robust. Correct. So that is extra steel, extra welding, extra support that they put on the Spartan chassis, which is what this has. That's going to make it squared up, strengthen everything, keep it quiet and straight going down the road. I do want to comment a little bit on the paint. No more really stepping up their game. Mm. Look at, you could see like the shadowing here. Yes. That's, I almost thought it was dirt at first, but it's not. Yeah, and there's a lot beautiful. going on. You have the gray kind of shadowing to the black, to the blue, to like a gray again it, this is a beautiful beautiful paint shot also on the dutch star and above if you look at this side they match the paint on the inside of the slides much more labor intensive much more work bay number three guys another huge bay this is a manual tray which actually i prefer i like that this is not a pass-through storage because on the driver's side you can see the back end of the hydronic system but again more outlets here here is your central vac which we'll show you inside i'm just holding MJ's head so she doesn't bang it on the <laughs> slide and we have to what go to the hospital. What is that supposed to mean? Like I would hurt myself? <laughs> Bay number four, again, this is probably where the tanks are, I would imagine, but they give you pegboard and they give you areas to put tools. It's always a good thing. Continuing on the second slide, you see that shadowing? I really, That's really beautiful. like that. It's really beautiful. nice. Now this is a 40 foot coach. What is it? It's 40? Probably 40 feet, four. Uh, 11 inches. Okay. But they give you the passive tag axle. That's going to make it more stable. That's going to give you much more carrying capacity capacity and we'll give you those specs before we go inside and that interior feels like 45 feet it's, 100%. it's amazing and it's because of that full wall slot yep. here's another thing you don't see in a lot of coaches you have an egress door and the egress door is actually a little bit open here's the reality a lot of people buying these coaches are older some of them have mobility problems it's tough getting out of a window windows, yep. this is much easier you open this door up drop a ladder out you can get in and out plus if you're putting things in you can put things in also next two bays there's your def 15 gallons. It's on the Spartan chassis, so they give you everything, make it very serviceable, easy. Here are all your, uh, your fuses, as well as your two chassis batteries. So we're in the rear here now, beautifully finished out rear cap, huge, huge coach will give you the height. 500 horsepower Cummins motor, 1,695 foot pound of torque. It's on the Spartan K3 chassis, 15,000 pounds of tow capacity. This is one thing I like here, guys. Look, if you want to open it up, very simple. And look at the massive amount of space you have in here. Look at this massive engine, side mounted radiator. So you're going to lose storage space with that radiator radiator is, but this is much easier to work on. If you're a mechanic or you want to take it to a mechanic, they're definitely going to prefer the side mounted radiator. I can't believe how cold it is. <laughs> it's so cold and gross, uh, but we're so, having fun. Yeah. So. Side mounted radiator, I explained that a little bit earlier. You got your Mountaineer logo, drawer awnings all the way down the driver's side. Here is your DEF fill. Makes sense. 15 gallons. Continuing the tag and the rear axle. And then this is a empty space that's going to be for your sewer hose your stinky slinky Very stinky slinky as angie says it and then you can see the same on the driver's side you have the covers the shades for those windows which is really nice let's open up a couple of other bays i like what they did here whole house filtration you also have your SantaCon, so if you can shoot your poop uphill chops it up sounds graphic Hope but you're it's not true eating right now <laughs> and then they finish it out in kind of the stainless i like that they have tank all of your there. tank levels in here your water your lights you can control your generator you can start and stop right here outdoor shower your dump so not only do you have your macerator but if you need to override that you can pull the dumps manually and you also have a power hose you're also going to have a power reel also another cool thing we like to show newmar does this if you look at the door if you look at that little hinge it kind of moves up and down so it's up and level and even with the other doors but then when you open it it comes down so it clears the slide, slide which is yeah, pretty cool great. show you the rest of the bays guys next bay you have your power cord 
dashboard on a power reel with LED lighting so you can see everything. Bay after that, your Oasis Chinook Hydronic Heating System. I say this on every video, if you don't know what that is, responsible for your heating, very much like home baseboard heating. Also, endless hot water and that runs on both electric and or diesel. Next bay, guys, you have the other side of your pass-through storage. Then over here, you have your batteries on, come out guys. Oh, we have pins in here, sorry. Pins come out. And then they put the batteries on a slide tray, six batteries. I mean, it really should be lithium at this price, eight, but uh, one, two, three, four, I'm sorry, eight. Eight batteries, guys. We would upgrade these oh, certainly to lithium. First thing. To both uh, improve on our power as well as the weight, because these are quite heavy. Yeah. Our choice will be Battleborn. We actually drove down last night from Jersey. We stopped overnight in Maryland. We went to bed at 99%. We're running our heat pump all night, powered everything. And this morning we're at 31%. We ran the generator on the way down here. About a two hour trip, we're about 74% when we got in. So no brainer guys. Now this is your final bay up front. This is going to be, have all your electronics for the inside. And then behind this over here, this will come slide out. It's going to be a Cummins Onan 12.5 12 five quiet diesel generator. So before we go inside, let's give you some of the specs. 500 horsepower motor, 1695 on the torque, 11.9 liter Cummins diesel engine. You have the Allison 4000 motorhome transmission. So that is a step up, six speed, 150 gallons on the diesel fuel, 15 on the def. Your tires are Michelin's, 15,000 pounds on the tow. Your front axles are 20,000 pounds. Your rear are 20,000 pounds. The tag is 14,000 pounds. Gross vehicle weight rating 54,000 pounds. The gross combined weight rating 69,000 pounds. Your carrying capacity, remember I told you how much of a difference that tag is going to make? 11,500 mm, pounds what does of that carrying mean? capacity. That means a lot, a lot of stuff you can put on here. So some more floor plan specs, 41 feet, 10 inches, 101 inches in width, 13.2 in the height. Internal width is 95.5, internal height 83 inches. Your gray is 80 gallons. Your black Black is 60, your fresh is 105, and it comes standard with six batteries. You saw this one has eight. This is an all electric coach, guys. Absolutely gorgeous inside. I'm done out here. I'm just gonna take you on the inside. All right, so we are on the inside. Are you ready for a tour? Oh God, that's really annoying. I wonder who that is. Yeah, they have a doorbell. Thanks, honey. How annoying is that? <laughs> that was pretty annoying. You're worse than Jason's outside. Right, I'll take it from here. Okay. All right, let's go on the All inside. Right. Guys, this is gorgeous. And you know, you've seen other videos of ours where we talk about quality and things. So far in this motorhome, I haven't seen one thing yet. It is beautifully, beautifully made. And the quality seems really up to par. What I love about this cockpit, so you can see, I'm not even gonna sit here, but as Izzy said, you're on Spartan K3 chassis. You have your levelers there. There's your Allison 4000 transmission. All your controls, you have your integrated phone controls here, your radio volume and everything. All your lights, so you have your, you know, your map lights and things things like that. You have your cameras that you're able to see here, nice large screens with your radio. In here, this is where uh, your awning controls are, all of your shades, okay, that you can control from here, your wine guard, and here you're gonna check your battery levels, your water, and everything. This is like your main control. You also have lights and shades there as well. As a passenger, I drive the coach too, but as a passenger, this would be perfect for me. I love it. So you have powered seats, okay? So both of these are powered. This is large. I work a lot when we're traveling. So you have your desk that will come up here with a little cup holder there. So that's great. Now, Izzy is a very intelligent person and I love him dearly, but Izzy stinks with GPS. I'm sorry. Well, because they don't, they uh, warn you in the last 30 it's seconds. It's the GPS's fault. Yeah, of so, <laughs> so this I would love because, and I'm usually I'm on my phone while is he driving so we can kind of double check each other, but this I can be in control of the GPS here as well. You also have your phone charger. I don't know if you can see that, but you can just put, you know, place your phone there. Then you have the step cover so that step will come over so you can have that flat, the steps are gone and the rest of your light controls. All right, let's go. Guys, this is so beautiful. As soon as I walked on here, I'm like, oh my God, this is this is just gorgeous. I don't even know where to start. Let me start above me. And this is something that Izzy and I love about in the mountain airs. They have the soft, like the vinyl, I don't know if it's vinyl, but those padded ceiling and it's beautiful and it's all blocky. It's, it's just a, diamonds. it's a beautiful look. And it's another way to hide this, right? You don't have those ducks, ducts just sticking out. It's a beautiful way to keep all that hidden 
and just aesthetically really, really nice. So speaking of the ducts, something Numar does that's really cool, and we actually, I think at the Tampa show, saw that Integra mm -hmm. had started to do it as well. Not, is, not this, yeah, but not as good. Not, no, not, not as well, definitely. So you have the ducts where a lot of them have it on the outside, so when you're driving and you have those slides in, they're covered. Numar does them down the center, so no matter open, closed, whatever, you're still, they're still gonna be wide open. All right, we're gonna start on the driver's side. Again, I don't even know where to start. It's so, be look, the interior colors are stunning. They're really, really stunning. You have this X pattern that goes down the entire length of this super slide, and underneath those, you have like a nice light LED touch. It's, it's just beautiful. You still have all your puck lighting that Numar does. I wish I would do some recessed lighting, but this is is padded as well okay the problem with this is it can get easily dirty or but scratched up and yeah dirty. yeah but it's it's such a beautiful touch all over the coach you have your controls there for your lighting so you can just control whatever room that you like you have beautiful theater seating here these are powered and you have usbs and for each you have a cup holder which are different colors they have like a blue and a pink tint which is really nice and then you have a little storage this is very deep storage so if you look you a lot of them have this you have a sliding tray and then it opens up into a That's very a deep area uh, to keep hashtag stuff this is a massive slide this is a super slide no carpet you're going to have cabinetry that's going to run the length, about the half of the slide. So this is gonna be running down. And what's great about these guys, this starts a new section, but you have no dividers here. So you can stack as much as you want all the way down the length of this window, which brings me to the next thing, which is the size of the windows on here. You have two very, very large windows. You know, a lot of RVs, ours included, the, the windows are smaller, you have dividers and things like that. This is just a beautiful view that you're gonna get here, especially if you have people with you, you're driving down the road, it's just a gorgeous view. The slide itself is phenomenal. How many times on a trip do I usually bang my head? Many, pretty much every trip. <laughs> Look at this, this is awesome. On ours, I am still, like you think I would learn by now, I still bump my head. So you give size, a reference. Yeah, so I'm 5'9", and I still have room here to spare. So that's really cool. The um, woodwork itself is quite, Quality. Um, look at this beautiful right here. This looks almost looks like a top of a pillar or something. It's it's so gorgeous. The light sconces that you have are gorgeous. We, we've been on many different RVs and you don't see staple marks. You don't like no. I, like I just I just want to run it past. Like, yeah, it, it is, is it clean. is beautiful. It's really nice. It's all hardwood and real tile in here. Heated floors. It is, and I'm really glad to see, you know, we did a video on a Tiffin, we'll link up above, but Numar really seems to be trying, yeah, little comments here and there people make about furniture and things like that, but they really seem to try to be keeping that quality up. And it, and it shows as we're, as we're doing different RVs from Numar, we're really seeing it. Then you have this beautiful dinette here, again, with that large window that you can sit and look at. We have a, like a freestanding dinette right now. I would love to have this, which is for our next coach. Maybe we'll do that. More cabinets right up above. And again, no dividers in those three. So you have storage straight down. These are a little bit smaller than the other ones. And I like this little area up here. So as you're eating, you can put, you know, the bowls of food or whatever, keep them separate. And then underneath, you're going to have under each part of the dinette, you have a storage drawer there that you can keep, you know, anything, cookie sheets or, or pans that you can't fit in the kitchen area. And then they have our favorite fridge. Whirlpool. We know somebody else that's Whirlpool yes. fridge is crapped out. If you haven't followed our fridge struggles, guys, we are on our third fridge now, our third Whirlpool fridge. We said if it goes again, we're just getting something else. But our really good friends, Pierre and Laurel from Blue Ox on the run, if you don't follow them, we're going to link their channel. If you, anytime you think about getting a new RV, you need, really should get an RV inspection. They do videos on their channel all about RV inspections and what you should be looking for. It's, it's quality information. Theirs just crapped out too. So we're not big Whirlpool fans, but anyway, you can see the size of the fridge is beautiful. And then a nice large freezer. What I like in here is the pantry space. So you have a really nice size pantry. It's well lit. The push, which again, as we're driving yesterday, I was gonna see, yep. As I was driving yesterday, we go, uh, I think we're going down the highway and we just hear and our closet door just opened up because we do not have these. All of the woodwork, as you're gonna see, everything is soft closed. You do have dovetail, so it's really, really quality, quality woodwork. And also what I wanna make a point out too is at the end of each of these drawers, there's a little, you see that? Yep. They spent an extra quarter. 
yes, but some of them don't spend that extra quarter. And we've seen that, right? And these lock in, these, these are tight. Really, really great. And then down the bottom, you have room, they give you room for cookie sheets or things like that that may not fit as well somewhere else. They also else. put LED lighting in there, which yep, is really yep. nice. So off the close, of course. Beautiful kitchen area. So you have a lot of places to keep things. Now, how are they doing with, e things are even. Yeah, here. No, it's, it's, okay, we've seen a we've lot of looking. that lately, you know. And here you look at the screws on the inside, like right everything there, is neat and they're, clean. They're clean. Yeah, so here's more. The, the woodwork is beautiful in here. It really is. A lot of um, areas to put your dishes and things. You have a 110 outlet back there. Let's go into here. So you have a very deep, beautiful stainless steel sink. Gorgeous. Oh, solid surface countertops. I always do this with the Numar sinks. Has a weight on it. Very sturdy. As you can see, I was struggling to hold them. So yeah, beautiful faucet. The word escaped me with a sprayer here. What I like about this area is that you do have a lot of prep space. So you have over here, if you're not using the sink, you can use this as prep space as well. And next to these cabinets, you're gonna have a large, more Whirlpool. This is a convection oven because you do not have an oven in here. Could you try again? Okay. Siri is talking, was that you? Was that was me. But this area is that you have this, she, she's putting exactly what I'm saying. Anyway, so you have this convection microwave. So that's a large size. You could cook some big, decent yeah. stuff in there. And again, a lot of people say they don't like convection ovens. We really have had good experience with ours. We didn't think we were going to like it, but we love it. Then we have a two burner induction. This is a true induction cooktop. And again, all this space back here. So if you're cooking, that's what I struggle with a lot of times when we're cooking, we don't have a place to put things. You know, if you're making things with different bowls, you have plenty of prep space here. So then you have more cabinet space here and a little bit up above the microwave. I'm not quite sure what you're fitting. Not, you're not really fitting much in there, but Spatulous. it's it's a use of space, right? This is really cool. So you have a large drawer. I'll get to the really cool part in a second. Large drawer underneath for your utensils and things like that. And dishwasher, of course drawer space here but guys when i first came in here i said where's the extendable countertop but look at what they did with this this is so cool so you have a draw here and it's hiding so you press this bam look at that use of space and then you have more prep space here and then you still have drawer space so it's not like you're missing out on any drawer space by putting that that extra countertop in there and it just moves easily in and out to finish off the living room. So th there's different options. So we have theater seats. So if you wanna sleep more people, you can get a pullout bed there, but this is a pullout bed. So this coach, the way it is, can sleep four comfortably. Of course, if you have people sleeping on the theater seats, you can add more, but this is going to be your bed. And then you're gonna have your TV on the televator. You have outlets on both sides with USBs, more of those beautiful light sconces, and then plenty of cabinet space up above. And up above that, you will have your large large Bose sound bar for the TV, finishing off with a little, you know, like a little end table. Moving into the half bath. So it's, uh, you know, typical half bath, like the backsplash. It's very well lit, plenty of cabinet space here. Um, not here, I'm in here, but here's, you're gonna have your fuses. You there. have your spare fuses. The wiring is not bad, definitely. It's good, somebody wasn't trying to even that sticker out. It's a little OCD on the evenness. Nice medicine cabinet here, plenty of cabinet space underneath, and you do have a porcelain toilet. All right, now the master bedroom and the master bath, beautiful. Again, this we are still on this super slide, which again, why these rooms feel so big. So this is the back end of the super slide here. You have two wardrobes here and a nice large TV, a little shelf for hashtag stuff. You've got six large deep drawers to keep your clothes in. Again, those are also off clothes. You're going to have a king size bed, very nice, which you should get a Brooklyn bedding mattress on because they're awesome. And then we have four cabinets here. Again, these are large and they're all the way down. You have 110 outlets in there. This is also prepped for a CPAP. So there is a hole that comes through. You can put the CPAP in the outlet and you're good to go. The headboard is really nice too. If you look, it's a little 1970s mirrored, but I like, but this is beautiful, beautiful. The valances are like a, a suede. You, you probably can't tell them from the camera, but those are gorgeous. And then on either sides of the bed, you're going to have a little nightstand with, this is kind of like ours too. We have a little drawer to keep any items in there. So the difference is we were talking about the difference between a 40 and some change foot and then a 45 footer. Like it, the living space is there, it's beautiful. But the bathrooms is really where you're gonna find it. The half bath and the master bath on a 45 footer, you will see more space. You still have plenty of space and there's plenty for me, which is great. So we'll start, here's the backside of that egress door. Again, you have these beautiful suede 
valances. This is a lot of cabinet space for a linen closet and you have more of that as we move around. And then under here, there's a little bit, okay? You can't really open that because of the, the toilet there. Another beautiful porcelain toilet. Then you're gonna have Splendid washer and dryer here. So you're not gonna get like that double sink that you would get in a 45 footer, but a nice size. I love, take a look at the drain. I oh, love yeah, that. I, I like those. But plenty of prep space here. You know, if you have your shaving stuff or your makeup or whatever, huge medicine cabinet with some 110 GFCI protected outlets. You've got a towel ring, more storage. Look at this, you have a full closet so in you, there. So you lose the walk-in closet because it's 40 feet, right. but you get a large closet. Yep. You had the built-in safe for any of you that watched our gun video, we'll link it above. We talk yep. about safety with firearms and RVs. Right. Having somewhere to store is definitely a must. Exactly, and then another, look at that, another huge area to, to keep things. I don't even know if anybody would keep this much stuff in their bathroom. I guess if you're full-time or whatever you would. And then we'll finish off with the shower which is really nice so if you have towel bars there which is great i'll give you a size of the height so i'm five nine we had mentioned as he said you'll see the arch ceiling in here which gives it a much bigger feel there's a lot of cool stuff in this shower so you have your bench which is great if you want that up and then you put you like to shave you know it's really cool to have that so you're going to have look at this it's built in your shampoo conditioner and body wash it's just like we have on ours you have two you have your your main shower head here and then you have a removable we have this at home which I, I really like. One thing I do like about it is the drain. The drain you get just the like the hidden drain the same. also on yeah. here and it's all tiled out. Which yeah. Is really very nice. cool. Very cool. So as we said, this is not our new coach, but we're taking our first We haven't spin. left yet. So we do have a rep from NRBC, but he doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> but he's gonna give us an area where to go. So this is the 500 horsepower motor and we're gonna take it up. We have a little bit of an incline here and we'll see how it does going up. Wait for that turbo to kick in. It's, this definitely does go up the hills a little bit better than our base and you know star. What, it definitely I mean, picks up a little bit better we'll than the see, base star. We'll see as time goes on, but we're not hearing a ton of squeaks. No, a couple yeah. here and there, not like we're used to. <laughs> well, what's really nice with the new Mars, they all come, I shouldn't say all, the diesels come with the comfort drive and it kind of centers that wheel, which is really nice. Won't feel so much now, but we're coming down yesterday on the highway i mean we were getting hammered with wind and rain and uh, having the comfort steel would have been a really nice option what would we name this motorhome millie millie <laughs> yeah. how does it feel very nice quiet so you know we talked about on different videos I mean, this is a very expensive motorhome we'll give the price a little bit at the end of this video but you don't want to get into any kind of motorhome especially one like this if you've never driven the thing and that's one of the things with NARVC is that if you're going to get into one of their coaches you want to make sure you're making the right decision and test drive is, is a normal part of that I would imagine like yeah you encourage us to take this out on the test drive because you're going to be on this thing for a long time this is made for the long haul a lot of miles you want to make sure you're comfortable and, and this is quite comfortable It's very comfortable driving. It's way different than Nelly in terms of money than Nelly too. So it, you really feel the difference. I really like it. Let's get it. So we did not buy this one. No, not yet, not yet. <laughs> not yet. This is an absolutely beautiful coach. One of the nicest new Mars we've seen. I like this better than some of the higher end ones. Some of those are a little bit over the top for us. No, this, and this yeah. is a beautiful coach. And what I like, I got a shout out to Newmar. The quality is here. I really am happy to see it. It's beautiful. So you might be wondering how much will this set you back price wise? Right. So the MSRP on this 2023 Mountain Air 40, 118. 4118. What is the MSRP? It is $850,118. You're not going to pay that. We're at NIRVC and they are always going to give you the best price. If you're interested in this coach, it has been here for a day, I believe, mm -hmm. maybe two. They just got, it smells like we're in the Newmar factory. As of April 7th, that's when we're filming yeah, this. Give them the call. They will absolutely be willing to give you a good price on this. But what's even more important with NIRVC is the service behind it. And we talked a bit about this on other videos. Service is everything. Mm -hmm. So give them the phone number. Tell them, let them know you saw it on our channel. So you can reach them at 571-999-7029. Ask for anybody in sales. Tell them you saw it on our channel. And they would be more than happy 
to Help give you guys out. a tour of it. In the comments below, let us know what do you think about this coach. We absolutely love this coach. Beautiful. Put in the comments below to the left of us. If you like videos like this, we'll put our RV tours playlist. If you own a motorhome, you're probably going to watch our RV DIY playlist. We'll put that on the left also. And for myself and MJ, it's a journey of a lifetime, and we'll see, see you on, on the, the road. road.